You know, I'm stinging, folks. I'm stinging from the realization that we're in the age of Kali Yuga. And this is the end, and I have spoken so much to you guys about all of the things that have transpired. You know, and I've been feeling so much pain lately in different ways. You know, just realizing the, the fullness of what's going on and even in my own personal life, I'm impacted with pain of realization of all the people around me who are demoniacs. Whether they know it or not, whether they're in ignorance or not, the things they do, they embody or on some level, they project the same views as many of you out in the world society. The same things that are bringing the reckoning, the same reasons that we're, we're dealing with reckoning, folks. Every day you get an earthquake. Every day you get a, you know, a storm. Every day this happens or that happens. And I told you guys several videos ago that this is going to occur because the hands that are doing it, I know them personally, folks. Now, what does that mean on a bigger level? That means that I am in oneness with the Most High. That means because I have a relationship with Him, the heavens are my family, folks. And when I access Him, I access the heavens. Who are the hands who will bring the reckoning and are bringing it? Mother Earth, right? So on many levels, this pain I felt was a realization because, you know, what I did was I was doing some things around the house and I realized and took an assessment that, you know, that person who stole a lot of sacred things to me, a lot of those things were photos that I had with the Most High, actual real photos. And this person stole those things, but they also took petty things. They took personal items of mine. You know, just imagine someone going to your house and you trusting this person and they steal your wedding band or they steal you know, your wallet or something. I mean, just it was just so insane, this type of things I was discovering that this person had stolen from me. And that was pain. That gave me some pain because I had told this person a while back that the Lord was going to deal with them for that. And, you know, the thing about this, folks, is that, you know, it's the same as the people with the phone, you know, playing with my phone. Just like right now, there are certain functions of my phone that don't cooperate right. And that's an example of those people in that, in that authority, so-called, sitting somewhere, playing with my phone, assuming that they have control or bullying me on some level, when I'm literally with the most high, who's giving them life, who's making the breath in their body you go, go in and out, who's giving them heartbeat. And because of that pure ignorance of people in the age of Kali Yuga, they reason that they can do all the evil they want, right? And God is not going to make them account for it. So they do things, even at, the, at their own pearl. You know, I could tell them this is going to happen, and they would do something because they're in defiance of God, not realizing he could thunderbolt their ass on the spot or drop them on the spot. And he's done this. You've seen him do it. You've seen Mother Earth destroy things, islands, earthquakes every day, right? Volcanoes. You've gotten the whole list of laundry list of things. You know, but you're in defiance, just like that person. And I issued something and I told them that if they did not return the sacred items that were stolen from me, because you have to understand something, folks. If, if I'm standing with God, you know, and God comes to me and, you know, in some personal moment, you know, maybe I'm not clothed or something and God appears, you know, in my eyes or something or whatever, and I'm able to capture that. That moment, that is a personal moment with me and God. How does one steal that moment for themselves? So this person is a fraud, and they're going to probably take that, that the thing, these personal effects of mine, they're going to go around and uplift themselves and say, I know God. I'm blessed. You're not blessed. You were only blessed because you were standing next to me, and God was giving you an opportunity to save yourself. He sees everything. If you believe that God was all in all of authority that he is, you would not have stolen in the first place. See, you have the spirit of Cain, which is demoniac. And you don't realize that. That's why you did that. You still, to this very day, probably don't even account for your crimes that you did. But when I sat back and looked around the house and realized you stole petty things from me, I trusted somebody around my house and they went through my personal records and took sacred books that I'm working on for God that they have no, no, um, no hand in, that they, they don't care about the new, they don't believe it's coming, but this is all part of that, folks. That's why I said God 
is going to get these things back. And I was upset and I wanted them to get destroyed on a particular day. And God told me that he's going to deal with them. He really is going to deal with them. They're going to get their fucking head bust. But, but because they think that he can't do it to them, boy, because if they, they hold these technical trinkets of mine, somehow that's going to empower them on a level where they're not going to feel his wrath because they have those books and, you know, these are going to protect me. And a lot of you have that mind. You don't have the spirit that connects to God. You use ritualistic things to try to connect to God. When God says it's the end, it's the end. Meaning that if, if you're caught up in wrath, you will be. You're going to have to reckon for being a thief, whether you know it or not. You sat there and prayed to God and told me there was a video. Somebody there had commented on one video a while back talking about they sing his praises and they love. And you're just a fucking liar. God is with me every day and we talk about this stuff. The pain of realization, folks, that I realize that people are in such a low moral state, whether it be for jealousy or whatever. Instead of them reaching to the most high and trying to find that salvation. And clinging to him and getting it. You were blessed with an opportunity. You know, if, if you were blessed, that means that God revealed himself to you. And you were supposed to make the most of that opportunity for yourself. Meaning that your intimate walks with him were what you should have been focused on. But no, you were looking at how much he came to me and how much he spent time with me. Because I spent time with him. I put him above everything. You never put him above anything. So you demons... Who I've carnated as people like this person. You're just like the phone people where, you know, they will play on my phone and I will literally tell them, do you understand God will bust your motherfucking head on the spot? And they will chime the phone or do something stupid right on the spot because they don't believe that he's going to do it. Even though they're, they're scared to death when a fucking hurricane comes and wipes out everything or a fucking violent storm or something or a thunderbolt comes down. They're afraid to death of these things. It's his hand, folks. I'm with the, with the um, earth every day. So I was in such pain and anger because I wanted to choke this person. The Lord said, look, I'm going to take care of this. And I went for a walk and I was with the moon goddess. And, you know, she showed me a sword. You know, she literally took the moon and shaped the moon as a, as a sword. And that's wrath, right? And I have the great son with me here today. I told him to come with me. But... That's wrath, folks, meaning that they're going to square up everything, all of these evils and ills, they're going to square up, and you're watching this shit take place every day, right? You guys, these guys, these same people, you know, set up a virus. They sat there and patented this shit years ago, put a patent on it, and now it's out, and everybody's acting like it just came out of nowhere. You people are dumb because who who gets to decide your life see these people have done things that god is going to seriously hurt them for and you're going to bear witness to that and in so many ways we're in the age of kali yuga that it's disgusting i was in pain and i was like lord i want to choke this woman out lord i want to hurt this person because they did some they violated me on such a level it wasn't even about just just the, the, the technical things that we experienced together, me and God. It was literally about them going through my stuff and systematically taking what they wanted from me. Just imagine someone going through your house and, I mean, literally going through everything in your house and taking things, jewelry, anything you have, and you don't discover this till a while later. And then you realize that you're, you were literally in the company of a fucking petty-ass thief. And you trusted this person. And God was with you every day. And this person saw that God was with you. And that's the reason why they stole all of the sacred things. And I'm going to release some photos, folks, soon. I'm going to post some photos of me and God. And to show you that God is real. Because we're in the end. He's coming. I'm telling you, I'm his messenger. And I'm going to prove it to you. This person is a fraud. And if they're showing you these photos and you're standing next to them, you may get a thunderbolt. That's what I'm trying to warn you guys about. Because it's wrath for them. You know? But I was so anguished. God, you know, I went walking with the moon goddess. And they were trying to comfort me about this. Because I wanted to seriously choke this person out. And the Lord was like, I got this. I got this. You know? And I, and I, I was just so upset. And so then, you know, there were some other effects that I had that went missing for a minute. And I couldn't find those that, you know, me and the Lord had done together. And, and he purposely hid those things for me. Just so I can realize that I was always in blessing. Even if I didn't have the things that were stolen. Him being with me is the greater thing. 
because he is the blessing. See, that person doesn't realize this. You know, I, he, he made me realize this. So he, he took him away for a minute. And I was panicking looking for those and forgot all about the other issue, you know. And, and he was doing that to show me that I'm God. You walking with me every day. I have blessed you. You have treasure beyond this world. And by the way, I don't like people keep saying that. And I, and I understand y'all don't understand this. But don't say that there's a God of this world. God of this world is the most high. Do not say that the demons that run you are gods of this world because the world is Mother Earth. You're not the world. You're just society. You're just people. Hey, nature goddess. You're just people living in this world. So the gods of your society, the devils in your consciousness, Mother Earth is running the world. There is no God that, that runs her except for the most high. And she's his hand. She is literally an extension of him, folks. So you guys don't get this. In the age of Kali Yuga, you will be supremely fucking ignorant on levels where you will do great crimes in front of God. You will lie in his name. You will steal his glory, do all types of shit. And don't think you got a reckon for it. And the day is coming for this. So I'm out there anguished and the moon God has showed me this sword. And that means, that means off with somebody's fucking head and we know who. And a couple of other people too. But she showed me this, and I was comforted a little bit by that. But he took away the other stuff, and I was scrambling trying to find this other material. And, and you know, I found it later, but he wanted me to see that, you know, I was blessed anyway, even if I had that stuff. I'm still with him every day. Literally, I have company of, of him every day, and I have access to the heavens every day. There was a, a thing I saw on Venus, right, where they were showing something about Venus in a feed. You know, they showed these feeds up every day to try to maneuver y'all into what they want y'all to think and shit. And they were showing Venus as a, as a, uh, as some, you know, they had some depiction of her, a photo, and they had doctored the photo a little bit in the colors and stuff to make it look valid and make her look like there's not, you know, it's not hospitable. Now, I know Venus, but I don't call her Venus, okay? She's AF, right? Great Af, honor great one. Af showed me Af, right? This is her world. Just like Mother Earth, Earth holds this world, I'm in oneness with all of them. Together all the time. These, this is my family. So Af shows me, quote unquote, Venus, the surface. I see the real surface of Venus without a telescope. I know what it's like and everything because I'm in oneness. This is my family, folks. So on so many levels, they have lied in this age. They have given, you know, they have decided your lifespans. These few people over a couple of dollars, which is not even real, who breathe the same air you breathe. What, what makes them believe that God is, is okay with them doing this shit? So if they release a virus, he let them do it. He allowed them to do it because he wrote the story. But they will be destroyed for all of their crimes. I promise you. So it's just like that person with the phone. You know, who who are the, the, the people at the phone company who play on my phone who don't understand that the great sun will snuff your fucking phone lines, period. And there will come a day when that will happen soon. That's my point I'm making. But if you haven't had it happen yet, God was allowing you to do this. Think about it. I'm doing a video right now, folks. So God wanted me to do this video. If he had snuffed the lines yesterday or something, I wouldn't be doing this video. So he knows the story. You have to trust him. I keep telling you this. Okay? So on so many levels in Kali Yuga age, you have a bunch of fucking idiots who are in such ignorance that they think they can do great crimes before God. They can steal from God. Because I am in oneness with the Most High. You know I'm the chosen. If you don't believe it, it doesn't really matter at this point. What are you going to do when, when, the, when the end comes? When that day comes, are you going to run and grab all of my photos and books that you stole from me and run to God and say, see, I got this. This is going to protect me. God will destroy you where you stand for that very crime. That person hasn't gotten away with anything. And the fact that they believe they have is really sickening. You know, but y'all got all these ceremonies coming up and somebody dies and y'all and 10,000 of y'all will get out there and mourn and cry about somebody who's just an air breather. However, none of you have mentioned God this week. None of you have all gotten together and lined up to give God praise. See how this works, folks. See how you're in Kali Yuga. You're worshiping devils and money and things of covet that it mean nothing. And you will bear witness to this. Right? 
So on so many levels, the pain that I feel is really my oneness to God and he feels pain and he's going to make you feel that pain. The pain of you not giving him his proper worship, his offering, the pain of you not recognizing that he holds your life. All of these things you will pay for, folks. I promise you. Right. So Groundhog Day comes up and you guys want to pay attention to some and no, no pun intended. Great one. The nature goddess. But I'm making a point that you guys will put the groundhog in a, such a position where you, you want to hear what the groundhog has to say about your weather versus Mother Earth, who God is. See how this works? Or, or y'all have your ceremonies, your Super Bowls and stuff, and y'all do all this demonic shit and think nobody sees it. Or y'all do see it and just ignore it. Now, what makes you believe that you're ignoring something that's going to help you in the long run? There were two people I talked to about God today. I mean, the other day. And I tried to tell them that God was real because I was trying to save them. Right. One person told me that, you know, God saved their life when they were a child and they almost died and they knew he, he saved them. But then right after that, they didn't want to talk about God anymore. They didn't want to give him credit for saving their life. Have lived all these fucking years successfully without having another one of those fits or attacks on their body and didn't have not given him glory for that. So they didn't want to talk about him anymore. So when the time comes, which is right around the corner, folks, reckoning is here. When that time comes, they will call back, back out to God and he will not hear them. There was also another person whom I tried to tell about God. And right before I was going to show them something that was going to let them know God was real. They had something to do. They had something more important to do. Just like a movie plot, just like the fool in the movie. Oh, I got to go do something. So you can die on your way to going to do something and you would have never been rescued. You understand how this works. A lot of y'all are in, in that state in Cali Yuga. The cow is on one leg and it's over with. Right? So I'm going to issue something real quick. I haven't done this in a while. The last big, big issuance I did, y'all lost the whole island and it was that serious. But God is the authority. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't hold power over the most high. He will destroy you. He will destroy this society, not the world, right? There is no God of this world other than the most high. You are talking about the devils that run your conscious society. That's who you're talking about destruction of. There is no God of this world. Mother Earth is the God of this world. Do you understand what I'm trying to explain to you? She's holding this world. So I'm going to issue something because the great... The great son is with me right now, and he's a part of this thing. In three days from now, folks, I don't know what day it is, check your calendars. In three days, you will have a major solar event that will make you pay attention. Because what that's going to signal to you is not to get you to keep understanding that God, God has had a plan with y'all. It's to show you that God is going to do what he's going to do, and you have no control over what he's going to do. This event should make you wake up. If you don't wake up, who cares? You won't be here in a new day. But the new day is right around the corner. We're walking into this new day, folks. You understand what I'm trying to explain to you? We're, we're right here on the cusp of the new day. Every day, any day could be the last day at this point. And I need you guys to understand it. It's gotten to a place where you're just in such ignorance, folks, about everything. You think that you have all the time in the world you think that you can decide the terms of who God is and all of these things. And I'm telling you that it doesn't work like that. As sure as the great son is right here, honor great one, you will face this thing. This solar event is something that you will not be able to do anything about, right? And this is really a, a, a message to those phone companies and all the people who think you have technology over God. God will destroy you. So when you get a major solar event, that's something beyond your, your scope, right? That's something beyond the that's weather that you can't even reckon with on any level, isn't it? And I'm going to show you. I said three days from now, you guys have, have listened to me in previous times and counted down and not have taken account to the realization of what I'm telling you. I know them, folks. The great son is great, folks. You understand? He is a hand of the most high. He's in service. If he bows to God, you're certainly going to do it or you're not going to be here. You understand what I'm saying to you? Three days from now, you're going to have a major solar issuance, right? If you don't realize that God is bringing wrath or you try to play it off and act like you're, you know, this is not going to phase you, then you're going to be swept away with the trash. And that's all I came out to say today.
It was that serious. The pain of Kali Yuga, the pain of this age of this lowness and morals and everything. You know, people would steal a damn shirt off your back. Have had it happen to me, literally. The person who stole my books, and I'm going to put some things out. Like I said, I'm going to put some posts up, and I'm going to show you a photo of me and God, of my family. I'm going to give you photos because this person is probably going to try to take the photos they stole from me and say they're theirs. They're frauds, folks. When, they, when their whole neighborhood gets destroyed, if you live next door to them, you are up shit's creek. You understand what I'm saying to you. You are in the covet. They don't believe that God can destroy them, but they stole the photos because they believe God is real. So they're devils, folks, on all levels. I'm just trying to show you, okay? The end is nigh. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. Only the, only the Lord knows. And the Lord is going to touch them on that day because they're going to do it. They're his hands. But they don't even know the day he's going to move them to do it. I need you guys to understand how real this is. This is the end. Cali Yuga, this is the last day. These are the last days. Every day could be the end. Any given day could be the end. You're watching islands get earthquakes every day. And you guys come outside with your lattes and you laugh and say, oh, yeah, it was an earthquake. Stop playing with God. This is going to show you. This solar storm is going to show you what's really happening. Okay. The new day is here, folks. Get used to it, right? Raise your vibration. Call out to God. Call out to Vishnu, folks. Call out to Harry. Tell him that you want to hold on to him. I'm telling you, when you get this solar storm, this will show you that I'm the right person, that I'm the person he sent. All of these things will show you. If you don't want to listen then, then you're just damn, folks, from the beginning. He knows the story, okay? Next video.